would now like to call upon the eighth contestant to the stage, Michael F. G. Contestant number eight, Michael F. G. What is your defining moment? What is your defining moment, Michael F. G. When I was growing up as a young guy, I was always looked upon very badly, if you want to call it bullying, yes. Because I was what they call a squinted guy. A squinted guy. That means when I look straight, my eyes, one of them will look on the left side. And people used to tease me as a boy. All my classmates would say, in those days we used the Bahasa Mata Julin. And it hurt me. Until ladies and gentlemen, one day, I found the defining moment for this squint of mine. It so happened that when I looked at the pretty girl, she never looked back at me. In fact, she turned her head and looked at her back. And that's when I found my defining moment at looking at girls and they don't know I'm looking at them. <laughs> Deformity. I could be blind in one eye, but nobody will know about it. It is how you decide that that deformity of yours can be used as an advantage to you. Let me give you another example. We have heard people come and talk about darkness. I'm actually, if I like the word, I'm tall, dark, and handsome. <laughs> But that used to be a problem of mine until another defining moment in my life happened. A lady told me, if anybody talks to you about darkness, tell them to look at their hair. It's on top of the head. And if you are shy about your not being fair, look at the fairest part of your body. It's at the sole of your feet. So always remember, if anybody comes and puts you down on your color, you tell them, I'm on top of your head, and you are at the sole of my feet. <laughs> 